I was um, in my living room, I was watching Netflix. That's when I heard a loud crash and I looked outside my window and noticed that part of the school had fallen into the classrooms. It looked scary. Went back to all like the memories I had in that specific hallway. Like I would always be there, hang out with my friends there. I had one of my favorite teachers in that hallway. We start the six with developing news. A roof collapsed into the high school classrooms at Lee High. A 60 by 40 section of our roof structure came straight down. I don't think there's any question that it would have been a catastrophe if you know, any part of the area of the collapse uh, was inhabited. Does one of you want to take out your Chromebooks and then just start a Google Doc so you can take notes on what you're going to need to add, yeah. maybe yeah. modify, you and then, yeah, that'll be perfect. And so once you have that out, we'll watch it all together. So the project we're doing in Spanish, it's basically where we record a video, um, how we feel about the school and how it, the school represents us. And we send it to Ellen DeGeneres and see if hopefully we can get some money out of it or if hopefully she can help, help us. If you watch my show, you know I love two things, cat videos and helping deserving schools. You no, know, philanthropy should not be the answer. You know, this is a, Again, free and appropriate public education. And so if we genuinely believe that the American dream, that the opportunity, that the promise of America extends to each and every child, then we have to take a close look at the environments that those children are subjected to while at school. Our system is picking winners and losers based on your zip code, and, and that's not okay. All kids should have the opportunity for uh, access to high quality educational environments so they can learn at the highest levels. We mostly get clocked or made fun of because we don't have a lot of money for, to have a fancy school, or we don't have like the best teams, uh, athletic teams, but I mean, it doesn't matter. Like We're still who we are, we stay true to who we are. I shared the document with you guys, so if we needed like everything. All these it. schools um, around us, they have like brand new football fields, uh, brand new like schools that are being, like their school is being fixed up and everything. And um, with the roof collapse, um, now they're saying that uh, our school doesn't have the necessary funds to uh, build it again. It does get very crowded, like from everybody trying to pass through. I'm kind of scared. I've never, I looked through it for like the first day. <laughs> 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 Wait, where's the timer? I'll just, oh, oh yeah. You have to oh, go yeah. through the mud to get my phone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're done, right? You can go. Yes, the district really needs a new school. And without sizable capital to do that, it's estimated that to replace the school, it'd be about $60 million. There certainly isn't any more room for borrowing, so we're stuck in this cycle that is hard to get out of. You know, we've certainly been working with officials on Capitol Hill and help them understand better kind of what the conditions are and what the needs are. They're not getting the same kind of educational opportunities. Teachers don't want to teach in schools where they have to move the desks around to avoid a, a roof leak. The, the educators aren't claiming responsibility for these conditions and the infrastructure uh, community is also not claiming responsibility. My name is Catherine Marriott and I'm a Spanish teacher at Godfrey Lee Middle and High School located in Wyoming, Michigan. Our school district is considered low income, however we are rich in cultural diversity and community involvement. Our kids deserve to feel safe, valued, and proud of their school. This problem makes it hard for any of that to be possible. One, two, and three, four, five. I cannot stress better. enough how wonderful our students have been Hi, throughout this process. They have been incredibly flexible in understanding the situation, but they deserve so much more. Students in my native speaker class have created a video asking for your help. See the video here. Thank you for your time and consideration of helping our school and community. What do you guys think? It's like finally the time. <laughs> Who wants to hit send?
<laughs> okay, good sent. Thank you, your submission's been received. There's the dear Ellen. Yep. Yeah. <laughs>